Congressman Chris Collins pleaded not guilty this week in federal court to charges of insider trading and lying to the FBI. Despite those charges, he says he'll stay in the race to retain his seat in the 27th Congressional District and vowed to fight the allegations in court. Ashley Edlin joins us now to tell us how other representatives are responding. Ashley? Well, John, Congressman Collins is on the board of the pharmaceutical company Innate Immunotherapeutics. He's accused of tipping off his son and other investors about information that negatively impacted the company. That allowed them to sell their shares in the company before the information went public and before the company's stock sank. New York Republican Representative Tom Reed is speaking out now, saying members of Congress should not be allowed to sit on the board of publicly traded companies while serving as public officials. Well, this is definitely uh, something uh, that, that caught my interest uh, as a result of this situation and uh, working in a bipartisan uh, manner with Kathleen Rice uh, of New York uh, to, to rectify our ethics laws, to make it clear. Uh, I think that's inappropriate uh, in regards to publicly uh, traded companies, members serving on boards. His opponent in the 27th District race, Democrat Nick, Nate McMurray, called on Collins this week to do the right thing and resign. McMurray is the Grand Island Town Supervisor in Erie County. John. Ashley, thank you. Collins told the media this week he will no longer speak about any issues relating to immunotherapeutics outside of court.